just one fact of American history that I wish Obama and every American would know. This would be the one fact. Our nation experienced its most serious crisis during the Civil War. Our, our nation almost disintegrated, almost came to an end. Well, what happened during this war is initially, in 1861, President Abraham Lincoln refused to allow the Union Army to enlist blacks. He was afraid that this would alienate the border states and he thought white men would not fight with black men. But then in the spring of 1863, the North was losing, was on the verge of losing the war. And Lincoln saw the handwriting on the wall. So he instructed, he ordered his commanders to enlist black men as fast as they could. And within months, General Lorenzo Thomas, who was fighting in the Mississippi Valley, had 20 regiments of black men in blue. And within months, the Union Army had 200,000 black men serving in the military. These were mostly escaped slaves. They were desperate to be armed, to liberate their wives and their children still in bondage. And Lincoln said, without these 200,000 black men in blue, we would have to abandon the war effort in three weeks. That's not Professor Takaki saying this. This is the President of the United States, the Commander-in-Chief, saying that without these black men in blue, we would lose the war. And so, he was saying, in effect, that these 200,000 black men in blue made the decisive difference in determining that our nation, for the people, by the people, and of the people, did not perish from the earth. And I think it's wonderful that today we have an African American running for the highest office in the land, but this nation is a legacy of those 200,000 black men in blue. And I wish this would be a fact that every American, including Barack Obama, would know. A fact of American history that we live in this nation and we are blessed because these men sacrificed their limbs and their lives to preserve this union.